Health and Safety at Work Act 1974. Following on from legislation, this lesson will examine one act contained within criminal law, the Health and Safety at Work Act 1974. This is the main overarching piece of legislation in this country. It's an enabling act. It uh, is meaning additional regulations, for example, manual handling, working at height, etc., are made within this framework. The objectives of the act are to secure the health, safety and welfare of all persons at work and to protect others against the risk arising from workplace uh, activity. The Act is divided into four parts and there are a total of 84 different sections. Uh, part 1 is the most important and consists of 54 sections. Uh, the limited number are going to be relevant to us so it's not like you're going to have to remember or, or revise uh, every single part. Sections 2 to 8 consist of 8 key duties. The, the two duties we'll focus on are, are Section 2, the general duties of employers to their employees, and Section 7, the general duties of employees at work. Anyone in breach of a duty can be prosecuted under criminal law. However, breaches do not give rise to civil liability. In other words, compensation cannot be claimed under civil law for a breach of those duties. Now, the good news is you'll it's unlikely you need to remember this in, in huge detail for the exam. However, it might be, you might gain extra points by being able to re reference specific pieces of, of legislation when writing your answers. And anyway, I think it's useful to have a basic understanding of the legal framework. So if you're looking through the high field text and it talks about section 37, section 38, section 39, you know what this means. It means this, the, the various sections within part one of the act. And again, our infographic should help to clarify this information. So next step, uh, open the workbook. As mentioned, our main focus will be on the duties of the employers and the employees. And we'll also examine again the legal requirement to health, have a, a health and safety policy. And a quick note on using contractors as well. All the best.